so much, Council Member, and for everyone for welcoming me today. I feel incredibly privileged to be able to represent Sacramento on such a national platform and to continue demonstrating that there is no shortage of youth voice, just spaces to amplify them. Um, poetry for me is a way to acknowledge our reality and imagine a better world. And I wrote a poem while I was in quarantine this past year trying to do just that. So this poem is called Inheritance. These days, I welcome the silence. Feel the earth hold me. Even in the absence of sound, I'm still listening to all the stories still called fiction. I carve them on the pavement so you may know which way is home. Or else, I let the noise be noise and do not use obligation as distraction. I am not appliance no domestic creature meant to serve. I am a person, I am a person. There is a word for how I feel and I am not afraid to know its name. My mind is not a prison, but a prism. And I've learned that shadows are a given in the presence of unspeakable light and my days are not tallied though they are numbered. So I count my kindnesses and say love more than goodbye. I count my meals instead of the weight I carry I carry what is useful forward. A few things I've gathered. Socks are still socks, even if mismatched. Everything I was told about a clean room was true. You can still see a smile under a mask. The way I speak to myself is the way I speak to you. I should unmute myself more often. I need water more than I recall. The people in this room can also smile. The people in this room are also people. And even as I untether myself from this built world, I know I exist. The battles continue where my feet stand. I need no pictures to prove it. The celebrations live inside my bloodline. I need no ribbon to prove it. I am already a triumph. Every day I breathe. And years from now, when I become ancestor, I will tell them all about the courage of distance, how we learn to hold space instead of hands. I will tell them about the color of courage, how loss echoed through an entire generation and the children became teachers. Learned love is not defined by age. I will tell them of this land we ripped from a people we can never repay, but we will try and try. I will tell them about the way a footstep can be felt on the other side of the planet. So mind your soul, move only in truth. You have inherited this silence. Now make it sing. Thank you, everyone.